Hi there amazing traders, welcome back to yet another version of Trader Talk. It's been about 14 days since I released the last version of Trader Talk. This is because um, I've actually been out of the market. Um, AUDUSD had yielded me a lot of profit. Um, I think we made some money on gold as well. And yes, the market has just pretty be, pretty much been retracing since the last time I did a, a Trader Talk episode. So I decided to sit on the sidelines as I always do to watch to see what exactly was happening. Now, guys, you know, I'm a fan of going into the market, extracting pips and keeping it. I'm not a gambler. I'm not the type of person who is constantly trying to, you know, trade to make money because I've learned over the years that the, the traders who trade less actually make more. I, I always say this in all my videos, but a lot of people are always like, mm, yeah, 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 here we go again. But that's just the honest truth. I've been looking at the market for a couple of days now and the market has just been moving, you know, sideways. Nothing much has been happening. It's been retracing and stuff like that. So I've decided to come on here and actually give you guys my perspective of the market, what I feel the market is going to do for, do for this month. Today is currently the 7th of September and yeah, so we have about 23 trading days of this month and I believe some quite interesting things are going to be happening. But before I jump into the video of today, I always want to give a shout out to all the Forex Mastery students. Um, I love you guys very much and I it's my pleasure to see you guys succeed. You know, I see all the messages on Telegram and you know, I see all of you guys be like, hey, thank God for DAPS course. DAPS course changed my life. Dabs, thank you for the course and stuff like that. I see all the messages. Unfortunately, I can't respond to everybody. But for the fact that I have been able to positively impact your lives, it makes me really, really, really happy. At, le at least you guys now understand that um, top your top-down approach does work. Okay, Your top-down approach, you know, the Forex Mastery course doesn't just teach you... It, 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 just, it doesn't just teach you how to make money from the market it teaches you when to stay away from the market and i think this is a very important aspect of trading a lot of traders don't know when to stay away from the market they don't know when to be patient they don't know when to proceed so they're just moving around like headless chickens okay so thank goodness you guys have taken the forex mastery course and it has really showed you guys what trading is all about now for those of you who haven't grabbed it the link is going to be down below um, do yourself a favor do your trading account a favor and go ahead and grab it but like i said today we're going to be looking at some charts so guys without any further ado let's hop into my screen and let's see what's cooking what can we make money from okay guys so let's go guys and welcome inside my screen sorry today i'm a bit low because i actually don't feel that great i've been ill actually for the past 10 days it's been horrible i've had the worst flu ever but today i decided i have to come on here and deliver to you guys my promise okay most of you guys who watch my videos are actually students of the forex mastery course and i feel the need to come on here every week or at least every two weeks to keep on reinforcing the knowledge you already learned on the course and to keep nudging you in the right direction and ultimately help you guys make more money in the foreign exchange market so once again welcome inside my screen i'm not really going to be discussing about too many pairs today i'm just going to keep it very simple and straightforward um today what i actually have in front of me is aud usd you guys will recall most forex mastery students most youtube followers you would recall that um this breakout retest we actually started selling all the way from here so we pretty we made a significant amount of profit all the way into this region and then obviously once the market started to jump up um i was able to take a significant amount of profit out of this but this jump back to the upside actually stopped me out when i mean stopped me out it didn't stop me out for a loss let me just walk you guys into the lower time frame so that you guys understand what exactly it is i'm talking about Give me a sec so we started selling all the way from inside of here all the way down and obviously we i had another sell position somewhere around here so i had two positions open and as the market was just collapsing all the way to the downside i simply just kept on locking in profit and locking in profit and i think it was somewhere around here the market jumped back up because don't forget guys we were expecting the overall target to be this blue zone down here right so <clears throat> the market didn't get there it just came shy of it it's so annoying <laughs> but it happens you know it's one of them things it happens so you know 
I was able to make a lot of money from this trade. I was able to make a lot of money from this trade as well. Um, so it was a very simple textbook entry for this trade. So it was a breakout, retest, continuation to the downside. Simple, easy. Now, guys, the only reason why I was able to get into this trade so confidently was because we had done the top-down analysis on AUD USD, and we have found out that AUD USD, excuse me, we had found out that AUD USD was bearish. There was a massive head inverse, no, not inverse. There was a massive head and shoulder pattern that had formed on a higher time frame, which was the weekly time frame, and then um, the market was. It looked like it was going to reverse, and it did reverse. It, 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 it met all the rules of engagement for us. So once the market broke out, we took a sell trade somewhere around here. It made us all this profit. We moved the stop losses past break even. It gave us another setup. We sold and then we made all this profit to the downside as well. But as all of that was happening, I kept on locking in my profit and profit and profit. <laughs> Give me a sec, guys. I need to blow my nose. Hold on a sec. Okay, guys, so sorry about that. Um, my nose is a bit stuffy, so I had to blow my nose real briefly. So I'm back, right? So uh, that was pretty much AUDUSD for us. AUDUSD was, you know, had banked me a significant amount of profit. I called it live here on my YouTube channel. You guys saw it, and shout out to you guys that made money off this trade as well. However, the market has gone on to do something quite interesting, okay? I wasn't expecting the market to jump up this high. So what has happened is, from what I can see, um, this market has come to put in equal highs as the last previous high. So don't forget, as Forex traders, we work with what? Um, swings, okay? So this is a swing low, swing high, swing low, swing high, swing low, swing high, swing low, swing high, swing low. This high is now equal to this previous high. So anytime this kind of thing happens, you know, it just signifies to me that there's, there might be something wrong with this short-term downtrend, okay? There might be something wrong with it. So what I'm going to do is, um, this is exactly where we need to be patient, right? So anything can happen from here. That's just the honest truth. Anytime you see that the market isn't exactly... So trading is very simple. Trading is very simple. You need to look at the... You need to look at what the market is telling you okay you need to look at what the market is telling you so i'll give you an example this what, what are the characteristics of a downtrend it's lower lows and lower highs lower lows and lower highs lower lows and lower highs lower lows and it has now put in an equal high now just because we've been selling okay so this used to happen to me before in the past and a lot of traders i believe still struggle from this just because you know everything was rosy we we're just clicking sell 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 doesn't mean that the market is just going to keep giving you pips you have to always watch out and not get carried away for little signs like this if this market wanted to continue coming down it would have stopped somewhere around here and continue coming down but we've come to put in equal highs now from experience anytime i've seen equal highs let me just zoom this in pretty nicely so that you guys see what i mean anytime we've come in to see anytime we've come in to put in equal highs like as you've seen so or slightly higher than the previous one in a downtrend it signifies danger it signifies the fact that this market is up to something different and we need to watch it and pay attention to it very closely so at this point AUD USD can decide to do two things give me a sec guys let me zoom this thing down it can decide to do two things okay AUD USD can decide you know what to screw this downtrend I want to go higher or it can decide to come lower so at this point i'm going to need to be patient with aud usd and watch it very carefully okay don't forget stop moving your levels i'm not a fan of moving levels let me just actually map this level out properly now this is a minor level minor zone so i'm going to use the base of this to map this out like so so that it accommodates more candles is this a straight line? Yes, yeah, so this is pretty much a straight line. So, and then, you know, the rules stand. The rules stand. If indeed we break down below this level, we're going to come down here. However, if the candlestick formation forms a base here and we start pointing to the upside, we're going to come here. Now, which direction do I favor the most? I favor the downside. 
okay and this is where probabilities come into play so I'm gonna draw my trend lines like so so because of this trend line I'm favoring the downside but I'm not ruling out the potential upside now we're not going to talk in terms of probabilities what are the probabilities of this market heading lower it's higher why because this is pretty much a downtrend okay and also we have Fibonacci from swing no that's not Fibonacci give me a sec we have Fibonacci from swing low to swing high. So this is actually looking like a Willis zone trade, if you ask me. Okay, so I'm going to be watching this market very carefully. I will need this market to bounce off of this zone quite vigorously. I need to see some more red candlesticks form. And also, I'm going to be putting some pre precautionary measures to ensure that I don't get into a premature sell trade so i'm gonna do a little something like this and i'm gonna watch this market very carefully okay now guys now this is your your, your you see my videos it's is me letting you guys into the mind of a professional forex trader so you know i'm, I'm not moved by the wind i'm moved by evidence on the charts okay i like to speak to myself i like to ask myself what the hell is going on so that i can make the best trading decisions possible i need to look at all the possibilities on the chart and once again this is what the forex mastery course to do for you guys it would it would open your mind into picking trying to have like a case study of what exactly is going on so that you can make the best possible trades once again if you haven't grabbed the course the link is going to be down below and i'm not telling you guys to grab it because i'm the one that made it i'm just telling you guys that this is the best approach because i remember oh my goodness i remember training with indicators i remember not even knowing all this stuff i was so lost i was so freaking lost it was unbelievable okay so you know that's exactly why i put together the course so that you guys don't have to guys i was crying in my mother's house crying like why can't i get a hang of this market why can't i understand the market why 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 i was sad i was stressed you know and i just wish somebody had just given me any 99 dollar course that would have just showed me everything i needed to know i swear to you i would have paid for it i would have even paid one thousand dollars for it i'm not even gonna lie to you because the amount of money that i lost in the process of trying to figure shit out was a million times more than what i would have paid you know if a forex something like the forex mastery course had existed so i wish i'd really seen something like this but anyways that's by the way so back to what i'm saying right so what are we going to do in this case traders what what do we do in this kind of situation so what we're going to do is this okay i'm going to be watching AUD USD very carefully i'm going to need to see a clear daily candle break back down and close back down below here also if indeed i am to get into a sell trade i'm going to be looking left i'm going to be looking left at this prick on the left hand side about here now why am i going to be looking left because we can easily tank into here and this could be the right shoulder for this left shoulder and then we could rally all the way to the uh, to the upside especially now that this market has come to form equal highs with this one is telling me this is not a this is not a this is not one of the traits of a downtrend it has come to tell me that I am in a 50-50 mood. This is what the um, AUD USA has come to tell me. Okay, if he was not in a 50-50 mood, if he was in a downtrend mode, we would have stopped here and continued going to the downside. But we've come in to peak all the way up to the upside about here. So it's giving me cause for concern. However, I'm still bearish because the, this market is still trading below the trend line. So you can see there's some form of conflict. So I'm trying to explain to you guys what you do when you're in conflict because whether you like it or not, you are going to face conflict in the foreign exchange market. It's only natural. You are 
going to face a significant amount of conflict. So it's better for you guys to understand how I deal with conflict so that you guys can obviously help yourself as well. So what I'm most likely going to do here in this situation is I need to see a clear candle close. Stops need to come above here. My first profit target must be here. I will close out 50% of my position here. It doesn't have to be 50%, but I will close out whatever 10 15 20 30 45 i will close out a significant amount of my trade at this green bar here why because it can the market can reverse from here okay and then once i do that i'll be moving my stop losses to break even which will be somewhere around here now some of you are wondering but uh, the distance between my entry and my first level target is not a lot it's not guys it's better for you to make one percent two percent three percent it's better for you to make 100 bucks, 200 bucks, 300 bucks than to lose $1,000. Do you get what I mean? It's better to take some... I know this might not make a lot of sense to some people because naturally they are gamblers. Okay, but for those of you guys who want to seriously make money in the foreign exchange market, these are the precautionary measures you need to put in place to stop the bleeding, to ensure that every trade that I get into in the foreign exchange market is a battle. I'm going against the market and whatever thing it is I'm doing, I have to make sure that the odds are in my favor. I want to send out 1,000 soldiers so that they can bring back 2,000 soldiers or 3,000 soldiers. I don't want to send 1,000 soldiers and then they never come back. At worst, let, them, let me send out 1,000 soldiers and let them come back with, with 300 soldiers, meaning that I now have... I send 1k out, but 1-3 came back. They want to capture 300 and came back. This is the same scenario with this. If I'm risking $1,000 on this trade, at least let me come back with $1,300. Then come back with nothing at all or come back with a loss. Then there's a problem. So you need to think like a general. Okay? So these are all the things you need to put in place. And guys, it's not that complex. It's simple, straightforward, okay? So put all these things in place and I guarantee you, you will make a lot of money in the foreign exchange market. This is why only 5% are successful. Why? Because only 5% really understand the mindset behind forex trading. It's all these little things that really differentiate and separate the pro traders from the weak traders, okay? The smart money from the dumb money, okay? So enough about that. So... I don't care how little I make between my entry and my first level target. It's fine. Anything I'm, anything the market gives me, I'm going to take. And then obviously, hopefully, hopefully, we drop all the way to the downside. So this is AUD USD for you guys in a nutshell. It's not that difficult. It's not that, it's not that complex. All you need to do is wait for it you know the market to close somewhere around here. Drop a sell button. You already know where your first level targets are going to be. Um, the reason I'm favoring the downside is because we have Fibonacci play. The market is respecting the Fibonacci play, as I, as you can see at the moment. If I take you over to the daily time frame, the market is pretty much respecting the Fibonacci. I'm going to need to see um, the market close back down below this yellow bar somewhere around here before I can jump into this trade. So around here is where my entries will come. First level targets will be here. Second level targets will be here. Or or guys on the flip side if that doesn't happen if that doesn't happen if i see candlestick formations which will probably take about another week if i see candlestick formations form about here then we start poking to the upside then i might start looking for potential buy opportunities but i'm favoring 70 percent to the downside and 30 percent to the upside in this market anything is possible because this market might want to come for a bigger retracement which might want this market to end up somewhere around here so in this game, I never rule out anything. I never rule out anything. So I'm putting all this. Guys, you have to understand that I trade a significant amount of money. I, ha I manage funds for some very wealthy individuals that I cannot afford to fuck up. This is part of the reasons why I have been unable to show you guys um, trading accounts here because I might get into trouble. These are multi-million dollar trading accounts that I just can't you know show to you guys because it has clients name on them and stuff like that so but you know my trading account is the least of your problems your trading account should be your major concern okay 
So, like I said, I trade a significant amount of money for some significant amount of very high net worth individuals. So I have to put all these things into consideration. I cannot afford to take losses. I just can't. I cannot afford to take losses. So this is exactly why I put all these measures in place. And if you look at yourself as a hedge fund manager, if you look at yourself as a money manager in the foreign exchange market, that is a, it's a different mindset. You would understand that I don't want to take losses. I I I I I'd rather take something small than to take a loss. You know. So this is the mindset that I think this is maybe the this is this should have been the topic of today. Okay. Maybe that would, that's exactly what I'm going to name this video. Okay. So that's pretty much it. So AUD USD guys, in a nutshell, two things can happen. We can roll over. So once again, when it comes to me, two things can happen: roll over to the downside, sell to come here. Bam, bam, bam. First level target, second level target. Or if we if we form a base around here, I'll be looking for buy opportunities on lower time frame, like the four hour, for us to rally all the way to the upside. But we have two trend lines in this case. We have two trend lines in this case. Um, as you can see, we have the inner and the outer. I actually don't like the way my charts are looking at the moment. It looks really bad. So I'm just gonna extend do it like this so that it looks really nice. I don't like. A chart that looks very cluttered okay so that this is pretty much it so i need this inner trend line to hold if this inner trend line doesn't hold we're coming to the outer trend line but i'm favoring the downside for this so with this information do 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 that as it may i honestly feel like this will take maybe a couple more days for it to mature once it does mature feel free to scale to lower time frames one hour whatever time frame you feel like entering your market uh, or executing your trade feel free to do that but this should give you guys an overall perspective of the market so it's simple and straightforward right two things can happen we can either push lower or we can push higher okay i've given you guys criteria for entry entries must come we must come and close back down below here bam or if that doesn't happen if we fail and we stay above here start looking for buy opportunities that are going to push us all the way to the upside so let me just delete this so that it doesn't confuse you guys okay so that's pretty much it so let's look over at some other pairs like gbp usd and see what exactly is happening gbp usd this is a very clear case of in the market is moving sideways okay very clear case of this from the last time actually not a lot has happened from the last time i actually came into this uh came onto the charts two weeks ago um i told you guys then that gbp usd was ranging and i would need to see a clear break to the downside that hasn't happened we've been moving sideways a lot of people have most likely gotten their accounts blown anytime i see ranging market i already know because lower time frame traders is just going up down up down up down up down buy sell buy sell blow 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 so i can from a higher time frame i can tell if traders have had a rough week <laughs> i can tell and i'm pretty certain um okay i think the euro is reversing a bit to the upside because we formed a double bottom right about in here which is pretty nice which is not bad if you ask me um so the euro at the moment the euro uh It's quite difficult to tell what the euro wants to do at the moment to be honest because um do you guys feel like a triangle a triangle is forming in the euro as we speak do you think we can rally all the way to the upside it'll be quite interesting okay so for the euro this is exactly what i feel right so we have this intermediary bar okay we have this big ass triangle forming i'm not the type of person to trade inside of triangles but it's quite interesting to see you know what actually can what we can actually make out of this and how we can potentially make money from this um so for the euro you know um i strongly believe um this guy here right about here is um something to take into consideration so what can actually happen is we can actually fall off from here okay back to the downside but if we break above this level i most likely feel like we're going to come and test the top of this triangle so if i calculate this right so this is x to a to b to c to d so we might be on a d leg to the upside okay and then
Sorry guys, I could hear some noise in my apartment. Just wanted to make sure someone wasn't just trying to come and kill me. <laughs> so guys, so X to A to B to C to D to E. Um, probably, so let, let me not confuse you guys with that. That's some really advanced technical stuff. <laughs> let me not confuse you guys with that. So for the Euro, I'm just going to be watching it. I don't really have any trades to place on the Euro, to be honest. I'm just going to sit on my on my hands when it comes to the Euro. But for AUD USD, I might be looking at it. GBP USD is ranging. Let's see what's happening with gold. Let me quickly help you guys out with gold. Um, for gold, let's look at higher time frames to give us the best and clearest picture of what exactly is happening with gold. So gold in itself is a is, is quite is a confused young man at this point. So gold is hanging on to dear life, you know, on this trend line as we speak. Okay, so is it, I'm expecting a blowout of gold anytime soon. So to be honest, I would just blow out in one direction because we have this. As you can see, this blue bar is it's like keeps hitting his head to the downside and gold is just not giving us any decent direction at the moment so for gold i'm gonna have to sit on my hands um let me see is there any other pair that might be of interest to me for this week not really okay so for me i'm gonna be monitoring AUD USD very closely now guys you have to understand something about the way i trade um I, like i keep telling you guys less is more if gbp usd lines up i'm gonna smash it you guys have been here in January, February, March, where we were smashing GBP USD. But when you smash, it, when you when you take advantage of a trending market, it goes into a range. It's natural. The market will only trend forty percent of the time, and you range sixty percent of the time. So whenever the market is ready, we can take advantage of it. But there's nothing we can do when the market is not ready. If you force the market's hand, you will blow your account. Okay, guys. So once again, thanks for staying to the very end. I have just one trade call, which is AUD USD. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I know I didn't give you guys a lot of trade calls, but guys, speak to speak to the market, man. Let the market give us some more opportunities. But I'm always gonna be here. What well, some opportunities present themselves? I'm gonna obviously come on here and analyze you, analyze them to you guys, and you guys know I am right most of the time. You can check my previous YouTube videos. You know, you know how I do this. I'm very, I'm a very careful trader, and that's exactly what makes me right nine out of ten times. So once again, guys, I'm gonna take you guys to my other screen. Thank you very much for staying to the very end of this video. Got a little message for you guys. Take it easy and let's go. Hey guys, and thank you for staying to the very end of this video. Yes, it was quite lengthy. Um, once again, I want to appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for staying to the very end. Now. Um, at the moment, the market isn't exactly ready to head in any clear direction. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be setting, like I showed you guys, we've set certain parameters that the market needs to accomplish before we get into the trade. The reason why we do this is to protect us so that we are not getting into premature trades so that we don't start buying and selling whereas the market just wants to range. The worst thing that can happen to a trader is to be in a trade whereby the market isn't ready to go either up or down. So today you're in profit, tomorrow you're lost. Today you're in profit, exactly. So we don't want that. So we set certain parameters to ensure and to ensure that we don't fall victim to that kind of situation. And once again, the Forex Mastery Program will teach you guys how to do all of that. So guys, once again, thank you for staying to the very end. If you haven't already grabbed the course, the link is going to be down below. And for those of you guys who keep asking what my preferred broker is, special shout out to Infinox Capital. Thank you for always taking care of us. Uh, the forex mastery program thank you for um amazing customer support thank you for always being there when we need to make our instant withdrawals thank you for all the local deposits and local withdrawals that you've been able to provide for all our clients globally okay so thank you guys so much infinox capital once again my name is dapper willis if you haven't already subscribed to my youtube channel go ahead and do so now but on that note i'm gonna catch you guys in my subsequent videos take it easy and peace out